Hello, fellas. The internet. It's a wonderful place, isn't it? It's this wonderful interconnected universe. This place where you can create so many friendships, do so many things, play video games with strangers 5,000 miles away, and just in general, you can do absolutely anything you want when it comes to the internet. It's a wonderful place, you know. On the internet, you can pretty much do exactly what you want, and that doesn't depend on who you are in real life, what you've done in real life, and it doesn't depend on your wealth, doesn't depend on your social status, you can pretty much just do whatever you want. Now, in a uh, face value perspective, that's pretty nice, you know. That's a, that's a pretty cool thing. You can make money, you can make friends. Great. But also, that does lead to some sinister things. Because in a world of being anonymous and doing absolutely anything you want for the most part with zero repercussions, that is always going to encourage a lot of terrible people to be, well, um terrible. And the topic today is a fine example of that. The things we are going to be speaking about today are genuinely one of the most disturbing things that I think that I have personally spoken about on this channel, so I do want to put a warning here that yes, today we will be dealing with a topic of predatory behavior on the internet, so if you are sensitive to that sort of thing, I would advise clicking off now. I will not be going into uh, certain specific details here and there. I will try to give you guys a brief explanation to what's really going on in this situation without making you feel incredibly uncomfortable because I think that's the best way to present this information. Whilst there is a horrific thing that's going on here, I think I can present this in a way that doesn't make you want to kind of throw your guts up and log off the internet. So yes, uh, I just wanted to put that warning there right now because today we're dealing with a lot of disturbing things and without further ado, Let's get into it. Ren Eleanor is a TikTok account with 17 million followers. The premise of this account is basically a mother called Jacqueline records footage of her three-year-old daughter Ren on a pretty much day-to-day -day basis where this content is posted on the internet in a carefree manner. These videos can pretty much range from Ren playing with toys, from Ren doing day-to-day -day child activities. Just in general, at face value, it's very carefree and very innocent content. But the thing that is a little bit unusual, in comparison to your usual three-year-old on the internet, internet, this three-year-old actually has 17 million followers, and each video gets between 5 and 15 million views. And to be fair, there's nothing at that point suspicious, you know? Kids all over the place on the internet get famous for simply just being a kid. There are so many people out there that have been famous at the age of 6, 5, 4, and 7. Look at Ryan Toy Reviews, for example. It's not suspicious for a child to become famous because, one, other children may enjoy that that content, but two, sometimes these profiles do help a lot of parents out there figure out things which can make their kids have fun, just in general can give advice to them on how to parent their own children, and yeah, at face value, this is a very sweet and innocent profile. Until you get in to the sinister side, because I understand this is going to be very uncomfortable for a lot of people, but with this profile, there is definitely a sinister side. Just like with every other influencer out there, when you have a large following, there are always going to be terrible people in that following. No influencer on this planet has a following of 10 million people or more, and no bad people in that following. The odds of having 10 million people and them all be good is very, very rare, especially on the internet where you can be anonymous, as I said earlier. Anonymity on the internet only encourages bad, devious, sinister behavior, and the case with Ren's TikTok account is very much a case of that. Because as I said, these videos for the most part are just usually whatever Ren is getting up to and having fun with, and as I said, these TikToks do get millions of views. And on TikTok, there is a little feature, like a bookmark feature, where you can save a TikTok, and it does actually show the number of saves per each TikTok, and usually whenever I save a TikTok, you know, it's when I see a nice recipe. I see a recipe and I think, you know what, that looks pretty sick. I'm gonna save that and never use it again in the future because I'm a lazy old bastard. That's usually the process with me and saves, but with Ren's profile, it's a little bit different because here, you have a 5 million view TikTok here of Ren doing normal child things where she points at pictures of animals, and this has around 2,500 saves. Now, at this point, that's not very suspicious for an account with 17 million followers and 5 million views. 2,000 saves, whilst it is a little bit weird because it is a child, really isn't anything too weird going on here, but then you move on to a TikTok with 385 
5,000 saves. And I think the very obvious and uncomfortable question is, why is there a TikTok of a three-year-old girl that has been saved over 300 thousand times. I think it's weird enough to save a, a, a video of a random child which you have no connection to, let alone it be saved 300,000 times. That is very weird, that is very suspicious, and I've regularly spoke about children on the internet and having cameras shoved in their face on family channels and how I think that's weird alone, but when those videos are being clearly downloaded thousands, hundreds of thousands of times, you have to ask the question, of what is going on here. And fellas, I even did the maths. I know that sounds like a sad little thing to do, but I calculated it and with like an average of, I don't know, 2,000 saves per 5 million to 10 million view TikTok, that doesn't add up. That seems like a little bit of an anomaly. That seems like a little bit suspicious. There, There's a there's a reason to why people are saving this TikTok and it's, it's quite disturbing. And this thing is, it, it's not actually a one-off. There are so many other TikToks on this profile where there is just randomly a spike in saves. There's randomly a load of creepy comments because people will say, well, you can't put two and two together without any evidence. Well, don't worry, my friends. Today, I'm going to provide you with plenty of disgusting comments, plenty of disturbing Instagram fan pages, and plenty of TikTok duets with creepy men being, well, uh, creepy. So yes, the TikTok I just mentioned with 385,000 views, what is actually going on in that TikTok? Well, it involves um, what you would usually describe as adult items, or items which you would just use typically when you get a bit older in your life. Items which usually a three-year-old would not be using, including a razor for shaving and a tampon. Now, I'm not going to really go into too much descriptive details of what happens with these objects in this video, but Ren, whilst Clove picks up the tampon and places it towards an area of her body, which I don't really think I need to describe, but you can probably imagine imagine what I'm going in and saying here, and then with the razor, it, it she kind of indicates her shaving her legs and stuff like that, and this TikTok, in comparison to an average TikTok of Ren just having fun, has 385,000 saves, as I previously said. Now, I don't think I can look away from this and think, that is not suspicious. Why has the saves randomly spiked from 2,500 to 385,000? And the worst part is, is this isn't just an anomaly. This isn't just a one-off TikTok. There is a common trend throughout Ren's profile of saves randomly spiking on videos where it, there, there are comments in relation to why you would think it would be uncomfortable. Next level smart. She is going to grow up and know everything. Free smirky emojis. I mean, I, I don't really think I need to explain what those smirky emojis usually are used for in certain contexts. Why can't I save it? Because that's not creepy at all. A, a random grown-ass man on the internet wanting to save a video of a random little girl. That's definitely not disturbing and definitely not extremely weird. Ayo, that's kind of sus. Smirky emoji. And as I said, there are so many other pieces of evidence out there to show that there are a lot of grown adults out there basically commenting and saying really terrible things about this little girl, Ren. They are saying the most suspicious and grim things possible, and some of them aren't even hiding their intentions. They're just making it so disgustingly obvious. And this has now led to claims that the mother of Ren, Jacqueline, is now pretty much just taking advantage of her daughter for views on the internet, and predators are seeing that and also taking advantage of that. Because in this case, I think there is a mother that has realized that she can make profit on the internet by showing the world her daughter doing silly things. Now, that seems innocent at first, but when you then start to ignore a lot of suspicious behavior, it becomes more sinister. And predators have clearly come into this and acknowledged that they can get away with being being extremely suspicious in the comment section and just in general doing creepy and weird things and that has led to a lot of heavy accusations out there that yes, the mother in this situation is basically responsible and the mother should be criticized and we will go into all of that but I do just want to give a few more examples of extremely creepy things that have happened on Ren's TikTok. The saves alone for me are the big one. On the 3rd of February 2022 when Ren was in the bathtub, the views randomly spiked to a 
around 20 million and 19,000 shares. I I really don't think, even like if you, I don't know, you're trying to send like a video to your partner, trying to like tempt them into having a kid or something. I don't know if that's a reason to why somebody would save these things. But personally, I do think it's very creepy that 19,000 people have saved a video of this little innocent girl in a bathtub. I just think that's really fucking weird. And I think if you're going to deny that, you're playing blissful ignorance and you are only contributing to putting children in danger, in my opinion. We then move on to April the 27th. A TikTok using a filter has randomly now garnered 370,000 saves. I don't even think I need to explain to you why a TikTok of a little three-year-old girl getting 370,000 saves is mental, disgusting, and weird. Especially when you equivalent into the disturbing comments like this one and this one. I don't need to explain to you why this is creepy and why there is clearly a pattern of suspicious things going on here. And then you've also got to add the fact in that there are comments of grown men requesting for there to be more videos of this little girl eating food and some of the food TikToks have around 50,000 saves. One TikTok in particular of Ren eating a hot dog has over 10,000 saves. Why are these TikToks being saved so much? I personally don't really see a need for anybody to save a TikTok of somebody else's child unless possibly they're related to the child and, you know, they want some photos or videos of a family member. Honestly, that's the only reason I can see this. But to be honest, I, 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 I can't can't defend any of this and personally I've always had a problem with family channels, channels of where little young children are put onto the internet because for one I think that's an unnatural environment for a child to grow up in. I think a child should have a normal upbringing where there isn't a camera pointed in their face constantly and in this situation with Ren I think that's another case of this. I think when a three year old is growing up with so many cameras shoved into her face on a day to day basis that's probably not a good thing especially when you add in the creepy context of what is actually going on in the comment section of Ren's TikTok. You then move on to the fact that, yes, there are comments out there, as I said, requesting for her to eat more food, and you've just got to fucking say, surely the mother realizes that there is something disturbing going on here. And this is becoming an absolutely massive story as the days go by. Forums are now dedicated to discussing this, and so many content creators on TikTok are discussing this, with even the mother, the Jacqueline, recently responding and we will go into all of that but I do just want to give you a few more examples of everything really going on here to just kind of simply hammer home the true reality of the comment section and community surrounding Ren but I do also want to say I understand that not every single person following Ren is going to be a devious sinister little freak I get that completely but at the end of the day if there is just one of those sinister predators we should not turn our heads away and say, oh, it's just probably one, because obviously if there's one, there's probably two, and if there's two, there's probably a hundred. I know people may think, well, that's fucking stupid. That's not. She's got 17 million followers. Are you trying to really tell me that there is not something weird going on here with that follow count and with these amount of saves? But it gets even more weirder when you also then find out that there are actual Instagram fan accounts dedicated to Ren, a three-year-old child child. Now, yes, I think it's perfectly fine to follow this account, but if you're creating a stan account dedicated to a three-year-old, uh, attention, ladies and gentlemen, you are a fucking freak. And then you go and look at the comment sections, and it's even more suspicious and just plain wrong. Now that's weird enough, looking at all those comments without looking truly into detail of them, this is weird. It is a fan account, again, dedicated to a three-year-old. That is bizarre and genuinely beyond creepy, and I don't know the age of the person behind this profile, but I'm gonna go out on a whim here and say they are probably above the age of 18. But then, you look at some of the comments saying, I love these pictures, I will take them and put them in my room. I'm getting the word 
nonce. If you still at this point don't find this incredibly fucking disturbing, I, I, I genuinely think there is no hope for you and I genuinely believe that you are playing blissful ignorance because you don't want to feel uncomfortable. Yes, it's nice pretending that we live in this wonderful world where there aren't freaks, creeps and predators, but ultimately that's not a reality. The reality is, is that on the internet, as I brought up at the beginning, there are anonymous people who are dangerous and sinister and predators, and somebody taking photos of a random three-year-old girl that they have never met and putting them around their room is obviously disturbing. But then to top that off, there are also random creepy duets out there like this. Now this basically translates to the guy calling the girl pretty, and yes, he is giving a very weird and uncomfortable strange smile here, and to be honest with you, I don't think any grown man should- any grown human being should be making a video like this, it's just fucking weird. Weird to an extent of my god man, you should probably be in a prison cell. But this isn't the only example that I found, and there are plenty out there, and I'm not going to show you every single one, but I just kind of want to show you a few to kind of get it into the brain sounds of people that are seemingly playing this situation down, because there are actually a lot of people out there who are coming to their parents and saying, ignore the haters, just ignore them man, they're trying to bring you down. It's like, no, we are just concerned adult human beings that see that there is something weird going on when duets are being made like this about a three-year-old girl. It's weird. It's beyond weird at this point. In fact, I think it's just outright utterly terrifying, and I'm not going to read you all of the comments here, but you can kind of get the idea by just staring at a few of them yourselves, and you can realize that this kid is being put in serious danger and being exploited every single day by these people, by these predators, and the mother is still willingly putting her daughter on her profile, and in my opinion, not exactly taking taking the precautions to prevent these predators getting what they want. And yes, that does bring in the question of what is the mother actually doing in this situation? How has she responded to everything? Because I don't know if you've ever heard about this, but on TikTok, this is an absolutely massive situation. So many content creators have been speaking about this. There are TikToks out there with millions of likes and tens of millions of views speaking about this. It's becoming a massive talking point, yet the mother has actually responded and the response is just utterly fucking garbage. There are two current responses at this point of recording, one on Instagram and one on TikTok, and I do want to take a look at the Instagram response first because it is more detailed, it kind of has more finer details here and there, and then the TikTok one is a little bit more brief. So yes, without further ado, let's take a look at one of the possible worst responses I have ever seen on TikTok. This is genuinely so bad that when I was reading it, I was utterly shocked. I didn't know about this situation until my girlfriend brought it up with me, and I thought, well, well, surely the mother can acknowledge that there is some bad stuff going on here. But nope, she just basically dubs it as speculation and people just being, I, I guess, nosy or rude or theorists. It's just disturbing and let's get into it. The past few months have been incredibly distressing, and I've learned a lot. What started out as a fun hobby to make a digital scrapbook for my daughter Ren, gradually grew into an interesting role for this single stay-at-home mum. I.e., I realized that I could make a full-time job by recording my three-year-old daughter and putting the videos onto the internet where I make a lot of money, and my daughter gets exposed to a lot of terrible people. Ren is my number one priority, and her upbringing and safety are my top job 24 hours a day. As a busy mom who never set out to become a TikToker with 17 million followers, I now realize I should have spent more time reading the comments, which is not easy with a big audience. And at this point of time, you're starting to think to yourself, well, oh, Fraser, why were you just being so harsh? Because seemingly here, it seems that she's actually going to acknowledge some terrible things going on in her comment section and acknowledge that, yes, there is a lot of awful stuff going on here. But nope, uh, no, 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 don't get it mis misinterpreted. She does not do that. She isn't speaking about the comments here of uh, the terrible people saying terrible things about her daughter. No, uh, she's speaking, I think, about me and you 
calling out this awful behavior. I'm not sure how this conspiracy theory started. No one has actually presented any real evidence and no law enforcement agency I have contacted has found any proof that my daughter's likeness appears on inappropriate websites. These rumors are 100% false. The rumors aren't false. The website that these comments are appearing on aren't inappropriate websites. They are her fucking TikTok page and Instagram page. They're not on some dark web website. I mean, they may be, I don't know. But for the most part, all of these comments don't come from the worst places, the darkest depths of the internet. Well, TikTok could be considered that. But they come from TikTok. That's the point here. It's so in your face and obvious. It's all around the community on Ren's TikTok profile accounts. It's not on some hidden website. It's happening right in front of our eyes. That is what makes it bad. That is what makes it so unbelievably obvious. But she is going out of her way to pretty much just deny these things are happening. I mean, there are Instagram accounts out there of people saying that they are putting photos of your daughter around their bedroom and you you, you, you don't think that's suspicious because the FBI apparently told you that they're not appearing on websites. They're not appearing on websites. They're appearing in people's fucking bedrooms. But then she actually goes on to contradict herself here where she actually says, well, you know, I, I have turned off the ability to download or do out our videos. So it's like, oh, so, so you do acknowledge that there are weird duets of grown men being extremely creepy. And you do realize that people are saving videos, like Rem being in the bathtub, for example, of where the views and, and, and the saves randomly spike. You, you are acknowledging that, but you're still pretending that it's not happening. That's a direct contradiction, because if you're turning off the duets and saves, you know, you know for a fact what is going on here, but you are pretending that that isn't going on because you don't want to lose followers and you don't want to take responsibility for your actions, because ultimately this is a profile that you manage and you create. I don't want anybody to weirdly blame a three-year-old for this. It is absolutely not a three-year-old who is barely fucking sentient fault. It is the mother and she should be taking much more responsibility here. She then goes on to say that she didn't think that Ren eating her first corn dog on camera would be interpreted as inappropriate behavior. And it's like, yeah, it is obviously disgusting what people do with videos like that. But it, are, are we really going to pretend that that isn't happening? I mean, look at these comments. This is obviously happening. And I know it's uncomfortable and you don't want to think about it. But the reality is, is that these comments and duets and Instagram comments and pages are all there. And we would be being blissfully ignorant if we pretended that they wouldn't. And we would be putting these children even more in danger if we just pretend that these uncomfortable facts are not there. To dub this as a conspiracy theory is just absolutely disgusting. And it makes me think that you are not a caring parent and that you are merely doing this because you want monetization and followers. Look at this comment, look at this comment and this comment and people requesting videos of her being in a bathing suit and even more extremely inappropriate comments. And even apparently websites out there giving extremely disgusting descriptive comments of Ren. And the mother is genuinely pretending that these things don't exist. It's fucking mental. Yet at the same time, she clearly knows they exist because she turned off the duets and saves. She realizes that these things are happening, yet at the same time, she is trying to play it off like they don't. She's trying to act like we are stupid and can't see all of this and make this 40-year-old mum audience think that, oh, she's being bullied. She's, you know, there's this wild theory out there trying to discredit her. It's like, no, no one actually, like cares about you. I don't want to sound like a dick, but like, you're just a TikToker. There are so many other TikTokers out there. But what I see here is an extremely concerning situation. And I see lots of concerned people. These aren't people doing this to, I don't know, bash you or bully you. These are people being concerned that a three-year-old girl is being taken advantage of by predators on the internet. And you are ignoring that. She says in this that she asked the FBI for help and apparently they couldn't find anything. And then she just goes on to say that the rumors are pretty much just fake and people, I guess, are 
pretty much just trying to find faults in absolutely everything. But then after this, she goes on and says probably one of the most irritating things in the entire response of where she's like, would you want your daughter to be a part of a rumor mill on social media? And it's like, no, no, I wouldn't want that. But I also wouldn't want my three-year-old daughter to being a victim to online predators. I wouldn't want to have a child having comments out there made about them like this. I would not want that because I am a respon- well, I'm not, but, you know, in a theoretical world, I'm a responsible parent. Even then, you don't need to be a parent to realize that there are dangerous people on the internet, and sadly, you do have to realize that sometimes you need to compromise and not post absolutely everything because these predators are taking advantage of that, and by you ignoring that, you are merely enabling these horrific, sinister people. I genuinely don't think that this person, Jacqueline, started this account with bad intentions. I really don't, but I think somewhere down the line, the Instagram, the TikTok, maybe even the Twitter numbers, the YouTube numbers, whatever, got into her brain and have mushed it up and convinced her that, oh, no, nothing's happening here. Continue getting the money, continue getting the followers, and this is the fucking result of it. It is a parent who clearly just now prioritizes money and followers over the safety of her daughter in my personal opinion. And the TikTok response is basically just the exact same. It's just scripted out of bullshit. And I know some people in the comments were like, well, what do you expect? It's obviously going to be scripted. It's a serious situation. And it's like, yeah, I, I I get that. But I would expect the parent of a child in a, in a situation which is clearly very disturbing to show a little bit of emotion, a little bit of realness. But nope, it's just regular influencer bullshit. The past few months have been incredibly distressing, and I've learned a lot. What started out as a hobby to make a digital scrapbook for my daughter, Ren, grew into an interesting role for me as a single stay-at-home mom. And look, I don't doubt that. I, I, I really, really don't doubt that there were innocent intentions here, and I'm not going to buy into actual conspiracies that this person is standing off as a horrific human being, but ultimately, just because it started off as an innocent little project that you didn't expect to grow, you need to now realize it has grown. You have 17 million followers. And by dubbing this as false rumors, it's just so incredibly irresponsible. Even if there is just one terrible person out there, you need to acknowledge that that one person needs to be stopped. But by putting this out here, you are not stopping that. You are enabling that. Ren is my number one priority, and her upbringing and safety are my top job 24 hours a day. This account has allowed me to provide for my daughter and to set aside money for her future. And that is great, and I don't even think you need to stop making this. I, I really don't. But what I do think you need to stop doing is you need to stop making TikToks which do play in to the hands of the people in the comments requesting very weird things. I know that may be annoying and upsetting and it's uncomfortable to even think about, but sadly that's the reality of the internet, you know? Just, you, you've, you've got to not en enable these predators and it, it is upsetting, you know? It, you should be able to just post like fun little cute videos and stuff, but sadly it's the internet, you know? You can't post everything, particularly when it comes to children. It's just the reality of the situation. Sadly, with the internet being so anonymous, it has allowed people to get away with horrific things, and this is a case of this. I'm not necessarily even blaming Jacqueline here. What I'm blaming her for is this response, because to me, it just enables and allows these people to get away with what they are doing. I'm not sure how this conspiracy theory got started and spiraled out of control. What you need to know is that no law enforcement agencies I conferred with, including the FBI, have found any proof that my daughter's likeness appears on inappropriate websites. These rumors are 100% false. If anyone has real tangible proof, please contact me immediately. I mean, this entire video, like this entire video should be, there are TikToks out there with millions of views, so you can't say that. This has been a thing for like a year now. Like, you acknowledge this has been going on for a long time in your Instagram post, so you know that these comments are out there. But you don't care, seemingly. You just don't care. 
And that's insane. That's so insane. And then she just goes on to say everything else she said in her Instagram post about Ren being happy and stuff. And yes, Ren probably is a happy three-year-old, you know? I think the re reality is here is that this person clearly thinks that the internet is very different from real life. Because these things aren't happening in real life and because Ren doesn't know about them, I guess she thinks she can ignore it. The reality is, is that's incredibly irresponsible and again, only enables this behavior and allows these people to get away with the horrific things that they are getting away with. There are a absolute plethora of disgusting, disturbing comments where you only need to scroll a little bit through the comment section to find. Some of them have been filtered out now, some of them have been deleted, but ultimately, you cannot deny that there is some weird stuff going on here. This TikTok is a very bad response, and the, again, the Instagram post is worse, especially with quotes such as her defense being, oh, I have a 76% female audience. It's like, one, female predators do exist, but two, 24% of 7 17 million is still over 4 million male followers. So I don't really understand the defense. I don't have 4 million subscribers, you know? And I still acknowledge 900,000 is a lot of people, let alone 4 million men. And the comments are just like, oh my god, Queen, we believed you this whole time, ignore the haters. No, 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 no. And it's like, guys, guys, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. There is obviously something weird going on here, and you you are all enablers in this. You clearly are. I've presented so many things throughout this video, and if you don't believe me, go watch all the other TikToks and the other videos about this. There are plenty out there. Shut up up. You guys are disgusting and despicable. Even if you don't have bad intentions with following this account, I don't think 17 million people are all hor horrific. In fact, I think it's probably 0.0.01% of the followers that are actually bad. But just because you enjoy this person's content doesn't mean that you can instantly fucking pretend that things aren't going on here because you don't want your favorite TikToker to stop posting. That just makes you, again, as I've said a million times, an enabler. I have to reiterate there are fan accounts posting photos of this kid and fans of that fan account saying that they are also posting those photos on their bedroom walls. I think you should all be very concerned and not defending this. I know it's uncomfortable to talk about. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I'm uncomfortable speaking about this and I haven't gone into too much graphic detail here because it does make me uncomfortable. But just because I'm feeling not very comfy doesn't mean that we should ignore a serious issue. Because if we ignore serious issues, it means they do not get solved and this continuous pattern of behavior only gets worse and worse. Now, despite what I believe in this situation, there are actually people out there that do theorize about some things going on here and more sinister beliefs with this situation. And some people do genuinely believe that the, uh, the mother is playing up to the horrible people in the comment sections. So I found a video where her mom put something in her pants and you cannot tell me her mom doesn't realize that she's exploiting her own child. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Tell me. And that is very concerning, you know? This is strange, and what she says in this video is true. The mother, Jacqueline, seemingly puts something down the trousers of Ren and starts chasing her, singing stuff like this. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, is that you? Nicki! Nicki! Nicki, let's go to the beach! Each, let's go get away! They say what they're gonna say! Grab a drink! Quick! Nicki! And this TikTok has 180,000 saves. So even if it is innocent, surely you can just put two and two to together and realize that horrible, disgusting people are probably safe. And it it's not nice to say, it's not, but you can't deny that there is a spike of saves here. And you cannot deny that the mother has to know about this. Surely, because if she doesn't, she must be a, a very irresponsible, stupid parent, or two, she's just completely doing this for money. But seeing as we're coming towards the conclusion of this video, I thought I would show you guys another experience of another mother on TikTok when it came to inappropriate comments made about their own daughter and how they handled it. And I think it's very interesting, and they also go through more comments throughout Ren's profile, and I'm just going to show you it right now. If your children are on social media, media and you haven't heard the story about what's going on with Ren, you need to listen up. Ren is three and she's absolutely adorable, absolutely adorable. Her mom posts lots and lots of videos and they have 17.3 million followers on TikTok, which I had a hard time wrapping my head around. It's just videos of a toddler. 
what moms are noticing is how many times these videos of Wren are being saved. I'm not sure if you can actually see this when my icons show up here, but this has been saved 10,000 times. This one of a three-year-old in a crop top has been saved 45,000 times. Wren eating a hot dog at a fair 375,000 times. Then people started noticing what happens when you type Wren into the search bar. All these searches come up and that's obviously the top searches for this thing. Um, most of them are gone now, but some of them were like Wren scandalous outfits. She's three. One that still pops up is Wren Pickle. People started noticing really disgusting comments that men were leaving and um, they got really, really upset about it. Now, I'm not going to post any of the really disgusting comments, um, but I did notice that somebody posted this. She is so mature for her age. And I started thinking about why was this comment bad? And then I realized I actually posted a video of my own daughter on my TikTok. My daughter does not have a TikTok because of all the disgusting things that happen on TikTok. But my daughter was doing the 321 bang challenge and I posted it. And I got this comment. Your daughter is kind of cute. Not gonna lie. Hey, Seuss. I thought that comment was innocent when it was posted, but it's not. And then I realized that the video of my daughter had been saved way too many times. So I removed the video and then I went to her Instagram page, which is private. And I found accounts like this that were following my daughter. My daughter is 12 and a half. The issue with all of the saves and the follows are that people are watching your children and doing disgusting things. Protect your kids. That is a proper parent right there. That is somebody that has clearly acknowledged that there was a very serious issue ongoing there and they did absolutely everything that they could to rectify that and fix that. Despite it is upsetting the fact that you can't really post everything that you want on the internet of your loved ones, she clearly took that sacrifice because she wanted to protect her children and I think that is absolutely wonderful. I understand that it would be sad to not be able to post everything you want about your children on the internet Internet, but it is something you need to realize. We don't live in a wonderful world. So people like the mother of Wren need to realize that and need to realize that the world and the internet is very dangerous. This is obviously an extremely disturbing situation and obviously it's every parent's worst nightmare. I can completely understand that and I can understand that maybe the mother in this situation is under a lot of pressure, yet at the same time it doesn't defend the obvious deflections, the obvious blame pinning on other concerned people and I think that in these situations you do need to be prepared you do need to acknowledge that yes these things can happen and if you don't acknowledge that then you are only pushing children to be even more in danger by pretending these things don't happen you are only allowing your daughter to be exploited even more on the internet and I genuinely don't understand how a mother could really do that I'm not a parent, and I think that's fucking mental and disturbing. So I don't understand how an actual mother of their own child could do that. As I said at the beginning of the video, the internet is an interconnected universe full of amazing people, yet at the same time, anonymous people. And you need to realize that those people can be bad. They can be extremely bad and sinister and do a lot of disgusting, evil things. Throughout this video, I've brought up the fact that a lot of people will kind of turn their heads away from these situations because, you know, they want to pretend that these things don't exist because it makes them more comfortable. And I can kind of understand that. And I don't want to sound like a fucking loser for a second here, but it kind of is like the Matrix, you know? You take the red pill to see how the world really is and the blue pill to not see how the world is and continue living in this fantasy world. World. And a lot of people do love to stay in that fantasy world or pretending that these things don't exist. But sadly, I am based on red pill. <laughs> Sorry. I am, you know, just acknowledging that these things exist because I think if we do acknowledge that these things exist, it can help prevent these things in the future and protect more innocent children. What the mother is doing here by pretending nothing is happening is dangerous. It's putting her child in danger and it's just absolutely disappointing to me that social media numbers could make somebody really look past their own daughter in the pursuit of money 
and views. I'm going to conclude this situation by saying, please, for the love of God, if you are a parent, be wary and vigilant on the internet. I know it is disturbing to speak about and think about, but you as a parent have the responsibility to realize that the internet is a dangerous place for the dangerous people. If you don't do that, then you are putting your child at risk. I know that sounds like a lot of pressure, but when you become a parent, you are accepting that pressure. You are signing a life-binding contract, which means that you are always going to have the pressure on you of defending your children and looking after them. I'm not even a fucking parent, and I think that I can acknowledge that, you know? I think if I was a kid, I would want more protection on the internet. When I grew up, as, as a little kid, I personally spoke to a lot of creepy, disturbing people whilst playing video games. That shouldn't have happened, but back in the day, I think there wasn't enough information to, out there to realize that, yes, there are creeps on the internet, but now we do know that. We do have the stats, we do have the information, and we have the safety precautions, so we need to implement this. I'm going to end the video by saying this is a disturbing situation. I hope I presented this in the best possible way I can without it seeming completely uncomfortable and unwatchable, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video. That's very important. Get this story out there because I think it is a, a, a real case study of how to not handle a situation like this. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like this video. Please comment your thoughts and feelings down below and how you personally have been impacted by stories like this because I, I, I would genuinely love to know. And please follow my social medias as well. I number 69 on Twitter. I number on Instagram. It's all there in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll have probably something more, you know, relaxing and funny in the next video because these videos require a lot of energy but yeah thanks for watching have a terrific weekend and take it easy bye bye